Right. So let us go for today OBE introduction. OBE introduction. The OBE what version I am going to teach is OBE 11.1.1.8.1 is the version which I am going to teach, which is installed in my system and configured with the ODE plus OBWE combination. It is configured. Now, actually, we have the version current version which is available in the market is. The current version which is available in the market if you go and see is OBE 11.1.9.2 is available. Say let us go for Google and if say OBE 11.1.1.9.2 is the version which is came into the market. Okay, but Still, people are not started using this OBA 9.2 version. Okay, everyone is using the OBA 11.1.8.1 only. They are using it. Okay, even I am also going with that only. But there is no major changes from the 8.1 to 9.2 apart from one or two reports maybe extra coming in the BFs as part of the free defend work. Rest of all the process installation, configuration, everything will be same. Okay. So, as part of the introduction, the first point what I want to say is OBE 11G released by Oracle with a combination of OBE 11G plus ODE 11G in the year of 2013. And one more update I want to give is what is the version of the ODE it is supporting? ODE 11G. Even though, even though at this point of time, if you go and see the ODE versions, if you go and see the ODE versions, ODE tools are also available in the market. But still, OBA work is not available. OBA work is not available with ODA tool C. As of now, ODA, OBA supports only ODA 11G it supports. Okay. Next, the versions available are available are one is called as OBA 11.1.1.7.0, 7.9, 8.1, 9.1, 9.2, 10.1, 11.1.1.1.1. These are the versions are available. We are teaching here 8.1 is the version which are 9.1 and 9.2 within couple of weeks difference only we got immediately one more version it came with the patch updates whatever they have it incorporated immediately they given the 9.2 okay both are almost the same apart from the existing two or three bugs they removed in the 9.1 to 9.2 okay now as part of this as part of this one we are going to see OBW 11G installation as well as configuration we are going to see it. Those all steps I given clearly in this uh, in this one. Please refer my website rid.com. The link is available OBA 11.1.1.8.1 installation. Okay, let us go and try to see that one where it is available. If you go to the link here. Okay, installation is available here. Okay, these are the steps whatever available. These are all steps we have to walk through it. Okay, if you install this one by one step install, then your OBA will be ready with the installation as well as minimum configuration whatever required, minimum configuration also will be done here. But you have to integrate with your source systems, target system, those all things will be manually you have to do it. How to do that, we are going to learn it. If you if I walk through with the syllabus, what I am going to cover exactly, let me walk through the syllabus so that you will feel comfortable. This is what the OBA 11G course content, what we prepared. As part of the training, we are going to uh, cover these other things. The course total duration is 30 hours is the total course duration. And the number of days is 30 days we are going to do it. It is a available classroom as well as online. It is a totally project oriented. If you do this one, then you will get the confidence. Yes, we are doing the real time project only. We are doing it. That kind of confidence we are going to get it. Why? Because whatever I am teaching here, these all things you not created, I didn't create it. Directly Oracle guy created that one. It is a plug and play model. Those things are directly using by companies. So you are working in real time project only you are working those tables those columns will be common globe wise 
whichever project you are working those columns names not changing table names are not changing primary key foreign key relationship is not changing report names are not changing columns are not changing everything is same once you experienced with one project second project just like that you can play it regular known known uh, process only right for you you can do very easily it's as simple as you are using your uh, one smartphone you are using it okay one smartphone is came also the same everything is functionality is same now as part of this one we are going to cover the obi installation how you can do the obi installation then obi configuration also we are going to cover and how the elt is going to work obi is going to this version is exclusively is working with the elt functionality extracting loading and transformation previous to this one we have the 7964 7963 7962 and earlier versions are going to work with the combination of obwe plus informatica combination obwe plus informatica combination so that is called as actually etl work extracting transformation and loading informatica is going to work with the work of that is called as etl work it is going to work etl etl it is going to work next is available here that is called as obia reporting work obia reporting work so what are the free defined reports are available those all things are going to explain here okay next we are going to exclusively concentrate on the hr analytics and finance analytics these are the two analytics exclusively i am going to concentrate and remaining analytics like sales analytics supply chain analytics those all things also as part of the installation i am going to uh, cover those things as part of the configuration i am going to cover those things what not covered in the sales analytics and supply chain analytics is what are the tables are the dimension tables fact tables those kind of things i may not be covering but installation and configuration will be covered but hr analytics finance analytics i am going to touch with the columns also that means what is the data model what are the dimension tables are available in the hr analytics what are the fact tables are available in the hr analytics what are the different types of reports are available how to do the customization those all things are going to cover and data model we are going to cover then we are going to cover here customizations whatever available those customizations also we are going to cover and each and every chapter wise ppts will be provided chapter wise hands on will be provided chapter wise recording also will be provided next what do you mean what are the detail course content if you go and see your application overview what are going to be application components are what are the components are available we are going to cover then business areas supported in what are going to be application what are the areas it is going to support it what are the apps it is going to what are source systems is going to support it what are going to be application components overview what is the architecture of the obi how it looks like next obi application architecture overview and application product life cycle overview these all things we are going to cover then analytics warehouse content so what are the free built star schemas are available in the oracle business analytics warehouse and oracle business analytics warehouse naming conventions are what what way which let us say if i given the one table by seeing the table name itself you should say it is a fact table or dimension table and overview of the oracle business analytics warehouse tables what is which table is meant for what purpose that purpose you are going to understand here system columns in the oracle business analytics warehouse tables are going to understand then installing oracle business intelligence applications free installation and deployment requirements and installing the oracle bi application free requests installing the bi application how to do it performing the post installation system set up task after the installation what are the activities you have to do it understanding the etl process okay what do you mean by exactly etl etl means what and and using oda studio to explore the free built etl metadata and full etl is means what and incremental etl means what that we are going to understand what do you mean by change capture what are the things are changed when how to capture those things only and finally very important question that is called as etl versus elt previously the obaa is available with the etl process now suddenly they changed as their own tool that is called as ob11g and now they are changing as elt elt right so how it is different then functional configuration for oracle bi applications we have the one thing that is called as fsm is the one tool is available functional setup manager is the one tool is it is available functional setup manager is the one tool it is available
So this is what called as functional setup manager. Right. What are the options are available in the functional setup manager? Those all things we are going to cover one by one. We are going to cover it. What are the options are available here? Those things we are going to cover. Those options only I given as is syllabus over there. If you go and try to see here, what are the things we given? Functional configuration overview is what? If you go and see the first page will be available. That is called as overview page will be there. It's still opening. Then terminology related to the Oracle B application configuration, configuration manager overview is what? Functional setup manager overview is what? And creating and implementing a project. How I can do that one? Assigning the configuration tasks to the developers. So these are the activities what you are going to understand internally. Next two, administrating and maintaining the functional configuration data. Functional configuration data overview and what are the administration and maintenance activities are available and how to change the domain members. We have your domain values, those things are available. If I want to change the, any of the things, how I can change it. Okay, where we have to, where the domain files are available, how to change it, we are going to understand it. So this is what the implementation plans, implementation objects, topology objects, and which which uh, which one you want to implement it. It is analytics, which analytics you have to implement it. Those things are going to cover here. Setup and maintenance. It's called as FSM, Functional Setup Manager. And next one, managing the load plans. So load plan, if you are really know the ODA, you might be aware of what is the term called as load plan. How to define the load plan? Normally, normal load plans are going to define using the component called as BAACM is the component. BAACM stands for Business Intelligence Applications Configuration Manager. Okay, inside this BAACM, we are going to uh, we are going to know how to create the load plan and all. Then generating how to generate it, how to execute it, how to monitor the load plans, those things are going to understand here. If you see here, this is what called as BACM, system is a bit slow. There in my case, already I configured Oracle Human Resource Analytics end to end, Oracle Finance Analytics end to end, we configured. And if you see here, data loads also. We completed the finance analytics data load plans. We completed and HR load plans. We completed HR domain loads. Those things. Okay, how to create the load plans? Here we have the manage load plans option is available. Using that manage load plans option, we are going to create the load plans and monitor the load plans. Those activities we are going to do it. How to do that activity? I am going to show. You. Troubleshooting and restarting the load plan. Suppose something is happened. How to troubleshoot it? Where the log files are available? Okay, where you can see the error messages, those things are going to cover here. Managing load plan parameters. If you see here, whenever you create one load plan, the load plan corresponding to some parameters will be there. Those parameters, what are the things are ever configured, what are the things are pending, we can go and we can see from the from first page itself. Let us go to the overview page. So this is what called as parameters of offering and domain mappings, what are things are available. Okay, what are the parameters you configure? those things you come to understand. If anything is not configured, how to configure it, we are going to learn here. Then, next is available customization types and scenarios over you. We have customizations are Oracle Guide divided actually into the two categories. Category 1 customization, category 2 customizations. Only two types of customizations are available in the OBA. One is category one, one is category two. What are the things are comes under the category one? What are the things are comes under the category two? We have to understand. Impact of patches and customizations. Suppose if you do one customization, 
then tomorrow obe 11.1.8.1 is gone and we got the 9.1 we got at the time of upgrade what are the extra activities you have to do from our side impact of the patches and customization you have to understand applying an update strategy transformation kind of thing how to do it adding the columns to existing tables in the obw what is what are the things will come to the category one how to add a column to existing table in the obw that means database level data virus level how to add it creating the custom material mappings for a category one customizations suppose you add the one column then immediately the column we have to import into the oda or not if you import a data population logic also we have to derive it that logic how to drive it enabling the versioning for the category one customization how to enable the versions generating the ddl scripts for a category one customization creating and executing a load plan for a category one customization so if you add one column in the table then we have to add in the oda and followed by in the load plan and we have to run this one then building the category two customization adding a new dimension table to the obw we want to add totally one new dimension table how we can add it create custom material mappings for a category 2 customization enabling the versions generating the ddl creating this these all four points are common here are here both are common here only how to add one column here how to add one entire dimension table mostly we won't add the fact table don't worry fact table we are not going to add in this in this obia fact table that kind of requirements will not come max is coming is column level or dimension table level it is coming we want to get the fact table level okay these are the category 1 and category 2 customizations if any report level customizations are available those things also will falls under the category 2 only as per as per oracle that guy is saying as only category 1 and category 2 but there are some requirements report level also you may need to add one column extra those things we are going to do in the as part of the category 2 only we are going to do it it is small change now oracle bi application security tools used to manage oracle bi application security oracle bi application security levels are what are the levels are available then exploring default security settings for oracle bi applications how to exp explore in the oda security these, these things are going to cover and performance things finally we are going to cover so this is what the content what we are going to cover as part of the obi 11g dot to dot one by one line we are going to explain here am i clear any questions in the content wise any questions in the content wise okay okay let us go for the first one in this one that is called as oracle bi application components oracle bi applications what are the components are available if i install the obi a if i install obi a what are the components we are going to get it if we go and see my obi a log file whatever available this what are the log file what i got at the end of the installation okay what are the things we got is only the components we got as part of this one is only the components we got as part of this one is only three components one is what configuration manager that is known as ba acm business intelligence applications configuration manager business intelligence applications configuration manager is the one component we are going to get it what is the main functionality of this BA ACM? Let us say this is what the BA ACM. This is the place where you are going to run your execution plans, I mean load plans, and you are going to monitor what is happening. Those main, main activities we are going to do from this window only. Left side, whatever you are seeing, right, one by one option you have to learn. We should not leave any of the options here. Any of the options we should not leave here. Okay, right. Next, one more component is available. That component is known as here FSM. It's shortly known as what FSM, Functional Setup Manager. This one you can access using separate link. You can access it, or it's through BA ACM also. This is a BA ACM. Inside the BA ACM also, they provide one thing that is called as 
functional configuration they provided if i click on that also it is going to open functional configuration it is going to open through ba acm also we can access that one next third one is available that is called as air oda console this is separate link is available through this also similarly separate link through separate link we can access this one r i think this server oda server is not started it seems to be okay separate through the separate link we can access it or you can go and you can access using the ba acm also you can access inside the ba acm there we have an option the option is known as suppose you are trying to click on here this uh, what what are things are happening here you want to monitor it okay if you click on this one it's going to navigate to the conf configuration manager it is, uh, this console it is going to navigate but it's trying to navigate to the console it's doing what unable to connect to the console 15001 port that means server is not started as of now same error whatever it is available here same error it is throwing here also so ba acm is the master component actually ba acm is the master component through this component we are going to access the fsm as well as oda console we are going to access it oda console we are going to access please write till this point of time please write till this point of time first point oba a stands for oba a stands for oracle business oba stands for oracle oracle business intelligence applications oracle business intelligence applications r r is also called as what simply ba apps r it is also called as ovb work ovb work ovb work ovb stands for out of out of box work ovb ovb stands for out of box work ovb stands for out of box work OB stands for BAFs R O O B out of box work right next point OB 11G released by Oracle with the combination of OB 11G plus OD 11G in the era of 2013. In the era of 2013. Next point. OBA 11G, OOB work not available, not available with ODA 12C. Even though 12C software is came, it is not available with the ODA 12C. Not available with the ODA 12C. next obia 11g works only 64 bit 64 bit operating systems 
works only with 64 bit operating system as of now this was the only limitation 32 bit operating system if you want it it won't work it only 64 bit only it is going to work only 64 bit only it is going to work and 64 bit also if you go for like a windows 7 windows 8 these all things are not certified we have to go for the windows server 2003 or Windows Server 2008. These are the two things you have to go. If you open the BAF uh, certification matrix, then you come to understand those points very clearly. Whenever you are going for the installation, any of the any of the uh, any of the Oracle product, go for that corresponding certification matrix first. And Oracle guy will not be giving the support if you are doing the any extra things apart from what is certified you, you did some customizations you did or some softwares you used those are not suggested by the oracle guy then any unexpected errors we got it if you raise one sr something support request you raise it that guy will not uh, respond to that one he is going to say it is out of scope it is not certified by the oracle something like that so you should very carefully have to uh, do this one Okay, see this content here, whatever I will, Oracle Business Intelligence application release. is certified with Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition 11.1.7.11 version. With Bobby 11G, 7.1 version. Even we have the one version is available in the 11G OBI also. That version is what? Recently it is came. Ninth version also it is came. 11.1.9 version it is came. But as of now, Oracle get tested with only 7.1 only tested. Okay. Next, we have next one that is called as requires Oracle WebLogic application server 10.3.6. Okay. Note version 10.3.5 is not at all supported. Why given exclusively this note is with 11.1.1.7, whatever WebLogic server is installed, that is 10.3.5. The reason exclusively given this one, we have to upgrade the WebLogic server. Hence, in the in our web steps also, if you go and see the steps, one of the step exclusively available that is how to upgrade the WebLogic server from 10.3.5 to 10.3.6. We have one of the step. If you go and try to see here, upgrade WebLogic server 105 to 106. That is 10.5 to 10.6. 10.3.5 to 10.3.6. IBF Sphere applications is not supported. Oracle Business Intelligence Interface 32 bit operating system is not supported. Simple install of Oracle Business Intelligence Interface is not supported. Whenever we are doing the OBW installation here, we have the two types of installations in the OBI. One is called as simple installation, second is called as interface installation. You have to go with the interface installation only, simple install if you do, it is not going to support. That's what we did here, interface installation we did it. Then, is certified with Oracle Data Integrator only 11.1.7.0. Is certified with Oracle Golden Gate. Yes, this is what the version is supported. Even in the 11G 11.1.1.9 is one more thing version is available that is not supported. As of now, in this version, okay, tomorrow some other version is came, then it may be supporting it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, your course will support the golden gate, right? Golden gate, yes. Okay, that it supports the golden gate. Okay. Now, if you want more details about anything, infrastructure details are client related, supported source applications, document control, you can go and you can see corresponding link is available here. In the lab, just try to have a look on this one so that we come to understand what do you mean by operate different operating systems which are available, different things available, those things you come to understand here. Okay, just walk through this document once. That is called a certification matrix. Any product is available, any Oracle product if you take, that, is, uh, that kind of certification matrix is available. According to that one, the required softwares are going to collect and we are going to install it. Okay. What is main purpose of Golden Gate? It is going to uh, work with the huge amount of data sir, actually. 
okay normally odi whatever whatever doing the job almost all similar job is doing by the golden gate but it's going to work with the huge amount of data like it's a big data component kind of thing right let us go and try to understand here next point ob 11 works with only 64 bit operation is written next point the versions available are the versions available are the versions available are ob 11.1.0.7.0 R seven point one, R eight point one, nine point one, nine point two. These are the versions which are available. These are the versions which are available. Next point. Next point. Will be ye available? Will be ye available? available with obwe 11g plus informatica plus tag combination tag combination and those versions are those versions are 7 point those versions are obwe obwe obi 7.9.6.4 or 6.3 or 2 1 etc 1 etc so it relate to this obi 11g we have the versions these are the versions which are going to work with the obi 11g informatica and tag combination now if you are going with the oda combination means you need not go for the informatica you need not go for the dac also dac whatever in the functionality those functionalities also are going to handle with the console only okay next point next point as part of the obae installation as part of the obae 11g installation we will get mainly three components three components three components number 1 pa acm number 2 fsm number 3 oda console oda console BACM stands for Business Intelligence Configuration Manager. Configuration Manager and FSM stands for Functional Setup Manager. Functional Setup Manager. or a console that is it's a self explaining point if strictly speaking obae learning means working with more with these three things work more with these three things as back end whatever available obae plus oda these two things you have to be aware of it okay as part of the obae we are going to get only these three things are going to get it and we also mainly we are going to concentrate on these three things are going to concentrate it. these are the three components what you are going to install it and more subject you are going to learn about these three components what exactly it is doing how these components are related to the obw product and oda product how the end to end work is going on that part we are going to understand here am i clear any questions okay if no we'll try to stop today here and tomorrow we'll try to go for with the starts with the installation if you possible we'll go for first architecture we'll go for it then we'll go for the installation so that will be more comfortable
what is the OBE LMC architecture we'll try to learn tomorrow then we'll go for the installation am I clear right thank you please register for the course and we are going to continue from tomorrow onwards same time thank you bye bye it's going to be 10 30 or 10 o'clock sir it's going to be 10 30 mostly okay okay, okay? because it, 10 o'clock only we used to say normally but then you have the class other class yeah, I need to complete I have to come here at 6 to 7 I have one batch 7 to 8 8 to 9 9 to 10 then automatically 5 5 minutes will be delayed and we will be come to the 10 30 okay, thank you okay right thank you bye bye tomorrow we will meet